It's a heavy metal maroon door of slam shot. It's a moment of clarity. I expect my mother always to be. My dad and I had a difficult journey. He was an addict for most of my life, and I had given up on the countless ways that I could try to support him. I was worried that I would get a phone call with bad news, and I would regret all the time that has been wasted. And over the years, I did get the phone calls. There was the phone call about the arrest, the car accident, detox, heart attacks one and two. But one day I got a phone call and it was different. My dad was doing really well. He had found recovery and was beginning to rebuild his life. And that meant rebuilding a connection with me. And then one day, another call came. This time, it was cancer. And so we began rebuilding our relationship on trips back and forth to Yale, where he was getting chemo treatments. I had dropped him off on a Friday with the promise to see him again on Monday. And I called, no answer, no return text. It was a hot July day, and I was panicked and wanted to run to his house during my lunch hour to see where he might be. I saw his car in the parking lot, and I thought, OK, he's home. I put my hand on it thinking I would pretend to be Matlock, and of course it was hot because it was July. And I got to his apartment, and I knocked on the door, and there was no answer. And so a maintenance worker happened upon me and asked how he could help. He let me into my dad's place, and I thought I would find him there, sitting on his couch, playing his Xbox, smoking a Winston. But the apartment was still. The only sound was the psst from the air fresheners that he had strategically placed through his apartment to hide the cigarette smoke. The maintenance worker put his hand on mine and asked if he should go upstairs. And I said, no, allow me, I'm his daughter. I walked upstairs slowly and nervously, not sure what I would find. And when I got to the bedroom, I found him. He was gone, still clutching a pack of Winstons, and I thought, damn it, Dad, you didn't even get to enjoy your last smoke. And in those final moments, I thought, I'm here with him, and because of recovery, I'm going to be the one to make those phone calls for my dad instead. <laughs> 